Classic Car TV. I'm Rob Sass, publisher of Haggerty Magazine. I'm here with Colin Comer, author of Shelby Cobra 50 Years, and Dave Kinney, publisher of the Haggerty Price Guide. It's late Friday night, and we've got the Friday results from Scottsdale. Want to lead off with RM, Dave? Sure, RM. Uh, 71 sold out of 88 offered. That's 81%. Uh, 17.1 million dollars uh, is the total. Uh, their high selling car, a 57 Ferrari 410 Super America Coupe, that brought 1.8 million. Not an ordinary 410 SA. This one had an interesting history, part of the Greg Garrison collection, and kind of a checkered past with the car, Dave. Yeah, it also had fins. I mean, it's a kind of an unusual car all the way through. Colin, do you know that car at all? Yes, I did look at it. It's certainly unusual. Yeah, it's very, it is. very motorama ish. Yeah, it is. And, and, you know, for somebody who wants something different, that's what they got. It's not a bad looking car, I don't think, but I think it's polarizing to some people. It is. The the turned uh, aluminum fins and, and uh, did have an interesting history though. The car was stolen, body was pulled off of it, and, and this one was actually rebodied I think in the 70s by some of the same people from Scaglietti that uh, did the car originally. Yeah, nice presentation, uh, you know, good car, lots of excitement uh, over it, so uh, you know, that's why 1.8 million dollars. Yep. All right. Well, RM a little bit down from last year, Dave. Yeah, That's they right. had they had less cars this year. So, in all fairness, uh, and they didn't have a, a lot of you know they didn't have multiple superstars uh, kind of on offer. Uh, but their uh, 120 uh, sold of 140 offered is the total 86 percent. So that's a little bit better uh, sell through rate. And of course, that's a great sell through rate. Uh, for a total of 24.7 million against last year's uh, 31 million dollars, so uh, it is down. Yeah, great sell-through rate until you look at Gooding's sell-through rate. Let's uh, let's segue <laughs> into that. 52 out of 52 cars sold. Uh, it sounds like 100 percent, Rob. Yeah, my math's not great, Dave, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, and uh, and they uh, they raised 19 million, and today's the first day of their two-day sale. Um, so uh, their top seller was uh, a, a real stunner. 1955 uh, Mercedes Alloy 300 SL, um, 4.62 million dollars. It's a lot of money. It really is. Colin, you were there. I know at Gooding. Any other observations about the sale? Well, obviously, 100% sale. It was a pretty strong deal. Yeah. Um, some great cars. Gooding always pulls out all the stops. Gets great cars and a great venue. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's. Like the Alley Galway, when was the last time we saw one in the marketplace? And and even Gooding didn't know how to peg the car. It was two point yeah. five to three million dollars, and car last the car one, yeah, and last one was a Curial, I think, in two thousand and six, and that car did about two million dollars. And before right. that, uh, the uh, the car out of uh, California, um, uh, also a world record holder car, I believe that was a Christie's, but we're talking seven years ago. Seven so years ago, and that was under a million dollars. So. Don Ricardo's car. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah. and Ghibli Spider. That was a eight a stunner, a stunner, thousand yeah. dollar bright metallic green Ghibli Spider. Yeah, a Euro car, uh, an SS, a four point nine, and uh, um, a four point seven non SS at uh, Russo. I'm sorry, at uh, uh, RM that did uh, what like two seventy five something like that on the hammer, yeah. uh, three hundred thousand. I don't have the exact figure, but somewhere around three hundred thousand. Uh, you know, uh, the guy sitting next to me was saying that the, that the guy should have bought both of them. That way, he could have averaged out half a million apiece. So, uh, but uh, a big, big difference. Uh, you know, I guess you could say the Euro uh, SS uh, four nine car, uh, one of the one of the, the the best of the best of the breed. Uh, but that's a huge difference in between the two cars. All right, Bear Jackson entered its fourth night tonight. Pretty good results, Dave. Yeah, we're, summarize those? we're looking at some uh, some pretty good numbers. They've got uh, 252 cars offered, 252 cars sold. So that's 100%, obviously. 19.3 million total for the day. Overall, for uh, so they've been going since Tuesday, uh, overall $41 million. That's ahead of last year's $38 million. They're up $3 million from last year. Yep. Top result was one of those Bear Jackson specials. You want to tell us about that, Dave? 62 uh, Corvette Resto Mod uh, Custom, uh, $357,000. This is, uh, I believe, a car built on a C5 chassis. Yep. Number two and three cars, a little bit more interesting to purists, two factory drag specials. Colin, can you tell us about that? Yeah, those? we have a, a 64 Ford Thunderbolt and a, a 68 Barracuda Hemi Superstock car, both for Two hundred forty-two thousand dollars a piece, which what are the is odds of that? a very odd result. And they were they were back-to-back -back lots, ten eighteen, ten eighteen point one. You know, super stock uh, Hemi's and uh, 
Thunderbolts are not everybody's cup of tea, but obviously these are two of the best factory built drag cars of all time. And to have them offered back to back, I mean, who knows, maybe they went to the same buyer. Yeah, where do those stack up in the market as far as those results? Typical, atypical? Spot on. I think the, the Thunderbolts, we've seen a, a you know, three or four Thunderbolts sell in the last 18 months, and then and they're that 225 to 275 range. Um, you know, there's a pretty established market there. Uh, super stock, Barracuda, any kind of, you know, good Mopar factory built drag car. It's a, you know, built by Hearst, there's around 50 of yep. them. I mean, you can't. When you look at a Restomod Corvette for three hundred fifty-seven thousand dollars, I guess a factory-built uh, special like that at uh, you know, two hundred forty-two thousand seems like a pretty pretty fair fair yep. price. But no Barrett Jackson bump here. You got some pretty sophisticated <clears throat> buyers playing in that market. Yeah, I, I think uh, if you're going to go out and buy a factory-built drag car, you know you know what you're buying, you know what you're looking at, and and uh, you do your homework and you know what to pay. I mean, there's like I said, it's established market and the results are there, and you. You go into the auction uh, knowing what they should yeah. be and what they shouldn't. Pretty well established, I'd say. Exactly two hundred and forty-two thousand yeah. dollars. That, that is that is an odd result, but yeah. uh, but it's correct. Yeah. Onda Russo and Steel, Dave. Uh, looks like some pretty solid results there. One hundred and four sold of uh, one hundred and eighty offered. Fifty-eight uh, percent looks like four point six million dollars. Top car seventy-one olds four four two W thirty convertible. Hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars. I think, uh, Colin, you know the W thirties pretty well, don't you? I do. I do know the W thirties and especially the W thirty convertibles. Um, yeah, they made one hundred and ten of them. There's seventy-eight automatics. Uh, it was a wonderful car. Actually, it was a car we saw at Russo last year. Right, I believe right. the car sold at Meekum in the in the meantime. It had a couple of stints on eBay. Um, Hundred thirty-two thousand dollars in, in two thousand six. The car would have been two hundred thirty-two thousand dollars. Yeah, absolutely, and good car with paperwork. Hundred and ten built. What one hundred and thirty survived today? Something like that. Uh, there's around four hundred of them out there, but there's only there's only about fifty in Scottsdale right now. Well, let's hope this one finds an end user finally. It's a great car. It's yeah. uh, you know a good color. It was a silver car, automatic. You know, air conditioning. If it was a four-speed car, I think we'd see another thirty or forty thousand yeah. dollars on top of that yeah. price. Well, hopefully somebody will take it home and enjoy it, and uh, we won't see it on eBay or crossing another auction right. block. Right, one can hope. <laughs> yep. Overall for uh, Russo, before we go, uh, 230 of 380 so far, 61%, 7.3 million. Last year they were at 7.5 million. It's the same number. They're right where they were last year. Well, Dave, it looks like we're up over last year. You want to give us the figures as they stand now? Yeah, it looks like we got 98 million total. Now, we don't have silver results yet, and keep in mind that these are preliminary results, always subject to change. We'll know a little bit more each day as we go through. So, you know, come back tomorrow and take another look. 98 million versus $91 million. Pretty good sign. It is. It is. And those are the Friday results. I'm Rob Sass for Hagerty Classic Car TV, along with Colin Comer and Dave Kinney.